there's a phrase that I heard a lot, and that was respond to respect. I could, you could add response is what gives you respect. So when you start thinking about horses and everybody's talking about the horse should respect you, that's kind of baby talk. That's kind of beginning horsemanship stage. That's, that's like trying to get the human to understand that your horse should respond to you. It's not really respond. It's not really respect. It's that the horse responds. If they respond appropriately when you ask, when I ask, when I step in and get tall, does she there? When I come uh, back away, does she come with me? When I stop, does she stop? All these little things. If she's responding appropriately, that's what gives you respect. I hope that makes sense. Because I feel like sometimes people think they always need to be driving their horse away and pushing in. I do it too. But always pushing in, pushing in. I'm getting my horse to respect me. I'm getting my horse to respect me. That's not quite it. What it is is that your horse listens, responds appropriately. Look at the nervousness there. Look at skepticism. You see the left ear come back. You see the head tilt. Look at skepticism. Read the horse there. Some of you wonder, should you let him smell it? Maybe. Depends. You have to feel your way through the situation. I will say this. I'm not right in front of her. and So maybe I let her smell it. Maybe I just keep rubbing it. It sort of depends on what I'm feeling in that moment and what I want that horse to do. If she looks to the right, or in this case, past me, see at this point, she's sort of looking straight on, almost like I wasn't there for a little bit. Then I might get my feet going and move the flag again, and that will draw her curiosity. Now that was tight and flinchy and quick. That movement was snappy. It wasn't smooth and fluid. Turning loose is fluid, supple. And you also think about suspension, elevation, lift. These are all aspects of turning loose. These are all things that you, to get suspension and lift, and to get it naturally, the horse needs to turn loose and give you appropriate, responsive, willing forward. Not artificial force compressed and pushed. That's much different. It's got to be willing, turning loose. And then I had heard, and I'll tell you my take on it, and not necessarily, mm, there's other clinicians that might expl explain this differently, but I had heard the phrase, a horse can give, a horse can yield, a horse can turn loose. So that was the order that I'd heard it in. And to me, I think it's like different levels of willing movement from the horse. And so if a horse just gives, that's sort of stage one. That's kind of basic. The horse is sort of doing it, but not necessarily fluid and free and not really. They're kind of maybe you could think of doing it because they have to. And that would be giving just a little bit, a little movement you get. But it's better than no movement, right? Yield. There, did you see her? She goes, Jack, you're pretty dang boring. And I think to myself, well, all right, then. I'll put a saddle on you. But anyway, actually, she's just letting down anyway. Let's get forward here. See that? She sort of leaned back there. Let's follow up with forward and then walk away. That little tip right there, so important. But y yielding would be a horse that is a little step beyond giving. And they're starting to be a little more, they're thinking a bit more, they're yielding. Y'all have worked on yielding. We've worked on yielding. It may not be quite turning loose, but it's a little more free than just giving. Turning loose would be the ultimate. Turning loose is what you all have pictured and I have pictured in my mind when I think about riding my horse in the field or galloping or going up a mountain or some people ride on a beach and they're galloping and they think of turning loose. You don't think of pushing and driving and kicking and whipping. You don't think of that. You think of sitting there and smiling, turning loose. And the, the reason that that feels so good is because the human is also turning loose to the horse. And it's a mutual thing. It's unity to where you both have that similar or same idea. 
That's why cattle work can be so important for people and horses because it gives you something to go chase, track, move with, confidence building, go together kind of, kind of thing. A little change back there. I could hear its teeth. She's kind of, kind of looking and chewing. Look at that. Really nice and responsive. It's a nice little horse right now. But notice down here by the flank, notice, I, I don't know if you can see, but you take my word for it, she's flinchy. Let's talk about this a little bit. Let's talk about our options on a flinchy, a flinchy horse. Well, sometimes I'll stay there. People say, how do you know? How do you know, should I keep the flag there or should I move it? Again, it's, it's, you have to feel your way through, but I'll tell you something. If your horse walks forward, it's much easier to stay down there, right? See that lack of forward? But now we're forward, so it's much easier to stay down there. She's still flinching, but guess what? Her feet are going into work, and she's going able to go forward. Oh, right there, there, and then maybe I'll go a little more forward only because she's about to halt. A little more forward, ready? Watch this, forward now, I might bring it away from the flank. So I stayed there. You might not stay there because you might get kicked if, you're, if you don't know what you're doing. I'm able to tip her nose, but more importantly, I'm able to take her forward and through. On trail rides, I don't worry about my horse kicking other horses. And I, when I say my horse, I mean whatever horse I'm on. Could be a strange horse. I do not worry about my horse kicking other horses. Why? Because they can go forward and through. Even, even dressage people say above all forward, right? Which actually I, I'm joking, but that's, that's, a, that's a classical concept, isn't it? Above all forward. The flag's not perfect, but I don't care. I'm ready to move on because she's not that interested, although she is a little flinchy still. Just grab this big old square pad. I might let her smell it because she's pretty curious and she's fairly soft. In fact, I might just present it in a similar manner where I walk past the rear, she crosses those hind quarters, and then guess what? I bring her forward again. 